Well, the growth in Utah has brought new stores and restaurants. And if you're like many Utahns, you're hoping for one of your favorite brands, like a Trader Joe's, Bucky's, or Costco. It's not luck, but data that decides where these new locations open. Tonight, how AI helps bring brands to you and the big role in all of this played by your cell phone. People in Tooele are definitely getting their baby backs at this new Chili's. Busiest opening out of any Chili's in the entire country. Just by people. Just by people. The busiest in the country. The busiest in the country. This retail center, along with the Chili's, had nearly one million visits in the first two months. Shocking, but Tooele leaders know a lot more than just number of visitors. The median household income of the average visitor here was 5% higher than the rest of the state of Utah. Economic Development Director John Perez can learn visitors' income, age, race, education, how many cars they own. How do they know all this? We can see lots of different things in this software. Our phones give out so much information from the data we use to the apps we download. That information is sent out and companies mine that data to not only find out how many people are in the area, but whether our demographic can support a new store like this one. Both developers and city leaders are quick to point out the information is anonymous. It's not identifiable. It's not identifiable. Um, it's, but it doesn't identify anybody unique. It really is just group classes. But it tells you what um, what news stations they like, what magazines they read. Dusty but, Hughes you from Washington like City uses the same AI tracking software to pinpoint where visitors spend their money. In and out is number one, and where it's coming from. When people. Uh, visit the in and out burger that's in Washington City. Most of them come from the golf course. She used tracking data like that to recruit a coming soon Winco grocery store, Panera Bread, and though nothing is final, a certain big box sporting store. That's one that was a really good match for our demographic. Springville used AI data to help attract a Bucky's mega gas station. And developers in Harriman used the data to determine where to locate the biggest catch of all. Here on this corner in Harriman, they managed to score two of the most sought after businesses, Trader Joe's and Target. We're excited internally, residents are excited, and it's, it's a big deal to have it here. So if Target and Trader Joe's are coming here, what does it tell you about this site? It's a great site here. We expect a lot of traffic. It's very visible. The demographic that's ready and, and willing to spend on local businesses. It also tells there are many young professionals, average home price $600,000, and a third of residents are transplants. Economic developers say that detail of information allows them to be the e-harmony matchmaker between brands and communities. At the city, we're trying to, to leverage uh, technology appropriately to help kind of be a matchmaker between commercial developers and businesses. It's more than, you know, the Trader Joe's that everybody wants or the Brad Pitt, right? It's, you know, is that a good fit for, for the retailer? And who doesn't want a little Brad Pitt in their town? It's nice that we won't have to go to Draper to go to Trader Joe's anymore. It'll be awesome. I'd love to see a Trader Joe's and a Best Buy. Washington City is flirting with Trader Joe's. Riverton <laughs> has a match with Athleta and Anthropology. South Jordan connected with a new red iguana. Chili. City leaders know these partnerships lead to more suitors and hopefully steakhouses. All of those people now will come here to spend their tax dollars to help us improve our parks, to help us improve our local roadways, and it benefits all of us. For residents, it's about quality of life. It's definitely a lot more stuff to do around here. There used to be like nothing. These stores have opened up a lot of jobs. It's wonderful. It's just, you know, it, it feels like we're not just an appendage to Salt Lake. We're a real place. Now, some city leaders told me that all this data doesn't replace good old-fashioned relationships, and some of it comes from the companies themselves. They also say exciting things are coming, but they sign contracts not to talk about it until the companies make it official.